Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom, and I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and we're going to talk about stuff that uh, excites me, gets me a-going, and uh, puts a burr under my saddle. Now today we're going to talk about living in free America, and whether you live in free America or whether you don't. Now you say, well, what do you mean, Paul? I live in the United States. I'm in free America. Hmm... Depending on where you're at right now, you may or may not live in free America, and I'll tell you how you know. If you have to, if you've ever uh, looked at a gun in a gun magazine or seen one on my show, which you should, and say, oh man, that is really cool, I like that, I'm interested in it, but I can't have one of those where I live. Well, guess what? If you can't have one of those where you live because the government says that you can't be trusted with it, you don't live in free America. And uh, that's all there is to it, Sparky. Uh, it, it, it's not any harder than that. People are like, well, you know, I'd like to have one of those, but I live in California, or I live in Massachusetts, or I live in fill-in-the-blank here, and we're not allowed to have those here. Well, who's not allowing you? Oh, well, the state government, the city government. It's like, all right, well, then you don't live in free America. Sorry, but you don't. And rather than complain about it, here's the deal. If you live in an area, if you live in a state or a city or a county or whatever, that tells you, um, you, citizen, can't be trusted with certain tools and certain machines, because that's all guns are. They're tools and machines. You are not smart enough or trustworthy enough. We know that you're trustworthy enough to vote and pay taxes, okay, and serve on a jury, and you're not a criminal, and you don't have a felony background. You don't have any of that, but you still aren't smart enough or trustworthy enough to possess certain tools and certain machines. Well, if you live in an area that lives like that and you continue to pay taxes to those people, what you're doing is you are enabling them. And all my homies in California, here's my shout out to my homies in California. If you live in California, stop posting things on Facebook and writing emails and so forth saying, well, that's nice for you guys, but we can't have them out there. Well, you know why you can't have them out there? Because you live in the People's Republic of California. And guess what? You know what the answer to that is? There's three answers. There's either A, get organized, fight against those people, and get them out of office. If a politician, if a governor or a mayor or a senator says, you, you can't be trusted with that machine because it's mean and evil and you can't be trusted to handle it, then you either get them out or you need to get out. And that's, or number three is stop complaining and just suck it. Okay, that's, that's it. Uh, but don't send emails and letters and Facebook postings about how, gee, I wish I could have one of those, but I live here where we're not allowed. Well, if you're not allowed, that's a clue. That's a clue to you to get the hell out. Okay, Ryder, U-Haul, Penske, Jartran, uh, you name it, rent a truck, pack it up, and move to free America. Because guess what? Uh, you're in, oh, I love these guys. I love my California homies. You're going to be mad at me. And you can go ahead and write me all the Facebook messages and everything you want. But here's the fact of the matter. Don't write me from California and tell me, oh, Paul, you don't understand. There are more conservative people in California than there are liberal people. It's just, you know, Los Angeles and San Francisco. Bull crap. Los Angeles and San Francisco, okay? So those two cities elected Jerry Brown, the liberal hippie cuckoo nut uh, from the 60s, 70s, peace, love, dope. They re-elected him as governor. Obviously, there are more hippie liberals in your state than there are conservatives. So quit telling me, oh, there's far more conservatives in California than there are liberals, blah, 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 blah. Really? Here's my answer to that. Jerry Brown. Okay, so stop telling me there's more conservatives in California than there are liberals. Uh, if you live on the East Coast, up in the People's Republic of Massachusetts, or New Jersey, or wherever, stop telling me, oh, well, you don't understand, we're not allowed to own those kind of bullets, or those kind of magazines, or whatever. Get in a truck, load up your family, and move somewhere else. Because as long as you continue to give those people money, okay, the state of New Jersey, Massachusetts, etc., as long as you continue to pay them tax money, they're going to continue to oppress you. Stop giving them that tax money. Move to another state and give them your tax money. Or move to Texas where they don't have a state tax. All right? So stop writing letters and complaining and whining and Facebook posting about how it's not fair because... We can't have those here. Well, you know what? It's still America, and we still have open borders today. We have open borders today. You can pack up your family and you can go somewhere else. And if you don't want to do that, or you tell me, well, I can't. You don't understand. I can't. 
Everybody has choices to make in life. And don't tell me you can't. It's I don't want to or it would be inconvenient for me. There's a big damn difference between I can't and I don't want to because it would be inconvenient for me. So everybody's got to make choices in life. You make yours. And if you still want to live in a communist republic, then live in one, but don't complain about it. Hey! So with that said, for all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? You are going to go to studentofthegun.com.